Hi guys, good morning. I hope you are well today. Um, it is that time of day again, in the morning. You have to pick yourself up um, um, or pick someone else up and say, come on, um, time to make your tea or coffee and uh, your breakfast. I'm making my tea. I have run out of my my high fiber brown so I'm maybe gonna make a boiled egg later after I record this um, so what I had on my heart today to share uh, besides the normal just trying to encourage you and to keep going is um, to just show love I um, hadn't seen my kids in a week and uh, like it normally is it's one week with my wife one week with me um, if you don't know, if you haven't watched the previous videos of me introducing myself, my wife left me about two years ago. Um, I love her dearly. Obviously, we were going through a rough time. Um, but anyway, she left me, which is very sad. If you're going through a tough time, please never do that. You know, um, That's the only, the only um, a uh, concession to divorce is unrepentant adultery. When someone's perpetually uh, sleeping around and you're talking to them and they just don't want to change, and after a long time of lots of trying, then that's a warrant for you to, if you want to throw in the towel and say it's enough now. But um, anyway, that's not why I, I started this video for today. I wanted you to just um, know that you are loved. Uh, I want to just tell you, even though I haven't got a clue who you are, that um, I love you and if you were here and I know you needed love, I, I would tell you and give you a hug. Um, and um, we need each other. Um, I'm feeling quite emotional actually saying that, I could start crying, but we need each other, all of us. We need our kids, we need our friends, we need our family. We're not made to be alone. You know, as strong as we can be when we're healthy and when we are financially stable, it's an illusion to actually the fact that we need each other. Um, if you are in a position of strength, use that strength to encourage someone, um, to help someone in some form or the other. But even just telling someone you love them or just giving them a kiss or a hug, it, it, you know, it means something, even to the most spiky or difficult uh, type of person and even in a selfish way it's good for you because even if they throw you away you know that you love them um, so yeah just please love someone the, what made me feel like I wanted to share this was you know I hadn't seen my kids in a week and Honestly, there's some weeks that I just want to give up or I struggle to get off the couch and that's also why I started this channel. I just wanted to give what I feel like I have to offer and that is just companionship to someone who might be lonely because I think there are many people like myself who are lonely, who are going through a tough time, lost their job or lost their spouse or they're just lonely for whatever situations happen, maybe bad decisions. Um, Anyway, so yeah, it's quite tough in the weeks that I'm alone, trying to pick up myself, put my life back together. You know, I, as I mentioned, how I closed my company down. In trying the classic car thing, hasn't worked. The mechanics are a nightmare, and you pay people, and they just don't deliver what you expect them to deliver. Um, you have a lovely product like my art, and just can't find the breakthrough, the avenue. You know, uh, where to go with that, and you just. Like, I'm not a depressed person, but, you know, I think we all come to a point at some point in our lives where we are just down, maybe more than once. So anyway, I hadn't seen my kids in a week, and on Monday, on top of everything I feel, I had the adjustment mentally of seeing my kids and just being happy to see them and that I'm a dad again. And um, I just started feeling terrible, and by the evening after supper, I could feel that I, was, I had eaten something bad. My neck was sore, when my tummy's upset, I get a really, really bad neck pain, and I get a migraine. And I could feel this migraine, migraine, whatever, however you pronounce it, 
just getting worse. And when I was taking my kids to bed, I usually like read them the Bible before bed. Um, there's a children's Bible I've got, and I elaborate because I obviously don't mention more than a certain amount because it's a kid's Bible. And then I sing to my kids. I, mean, I, I couldn't even read. I, I couldn't read. I didn't even bother trying. And then I sing to them. So I lie next to them and I sing. And I was like passing out. I was so wiped out and with pain. And my kids saw that. So leading up to bedtime, they were rubbing me and just trying to gently rub my tummy and rub my back and giving me hugs and showing me love. And it, it means so much. You know, my my wife, my poor wife is not didn't grow up in an affectionate home, so I didn't get much affection. Um, I might have got the odd word here or there, like shame or whatever, and maybe she gave me medicine or something. But the physical affection is, if you can give it to someone, give it to them. Don't deny them natural affection. Um, obviously, if you're married, give them natural affection, which is special for marriage, and just, just simple affection. And if you're not married, show love to someone like verbally like I'm sharing now if you um, if, if that's the type of relationship that you have with someone um, and um, if uh, you can give someone a hug or a kiss and tell them that you love them and it's going to be okay and whatever they're going through it's going to be okay and just put your hand out to them just saying you know you're there for them even if it's difficult you know you barely met managing yourself, it, I'm telling you, it will mean the world to someone. Um, don't miss out on that opportunity. Scripture says, actually, there's an interesting verse, and it's really interesting how Scripture kind of like colors itself in with time. There's a verse that says the first thing about wisdom is to get wisdom. The second thing about wisdom is to get the insight and the understanding. And the understanding that I've got with time with this scripture that says, if you see your brother in need and you say, be warm and well fed, and you see that they're not warm or well fed and you're in a position to help them and you don't help them, it says, how can the love of God be in your heart? Uh, it says, uh, we are no more than a noisy bell. And you know, a bell can be a very simple thing or a beautiful ornate thing that's polished and ornate and beautiful. But if you look on the inside, it's hollow. And we are, all of us are a t t temple, excuse me for stuttering, but we are all a temple, either of demons or the Holy Spirit, if we accept Jesus. And that's actually why we sin so much before we know Jesus, because we're a slave to sin, the devil's inside of us, and he uses us. But we are this house, and we all need Jesus, we're all broken, we all get used by the devil for some period of time in our life. Uh, before we know him and if you don't know him please know that he loves you but I'll end the video with that but yeah but this thing about love you just just show love um, so anyway there I was passing out next to my children trying to stay awake and sing them to bed it was the first night I'd seen them in, in a week and I'm trying to love them and and uh, I, I could barely sing I was like whispering I was so sore and uh, with my headache just feeling so awful and um, and um, yeah the, my my youngest son uh, who's three was rubbing my tummy and it was just so sweet while I was trying to sing to him and it, it really comforted me I actually fell asleep with him comforting me and uh, then my middle son came to me and uh, because it was his, I, I alternate between the, not I alternate, I, I go to all my kids and sing them to bed. And then he came to me and I lay next to him and he also rubbed me while I was trying to sing and I really couldn't sing, I was like whispering, it was nothing like I normally do. And he was also stroking me and rubbing me while I was trying to, it could make me cry, it's really so sweet. Just, you know, they, love is love, you know. Um, whether it's from a kid or an adult, you know, just accept that love. I teach my kids how to love each other, you know, when they hurt each other, I tell them not to be like Cain and Abel, to not harden their heart to each other. When someone hurts you, don't hit them back. If you hit them, say you're sorry and make up. And uh, so I really emphasize just love and forgiveness, and uh, it's tough in this life, and there are two spirits that we must choose which one to listen to. 
the devil and his unclean spirits that followed him or the Holy Spirit that's telling us to love and forgive and point the way to Jesus and explain why Jesus had to come and die for our sins. Anyway, so I was just really, 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 really moved by my kids' love for me when I had I couldn't give anything. I was trying and they were just giving me love and it was it was healing me. You know, for years, like I said, my, my, my wife didn't grow up in an affectionate home. When she was sick, they just basically said, this is what she said to me, that she just said, they said, just deal with it. And it was very difficult, you know, with when I was sick with her, you know, like I said, it was very much a distance thing when I was sick, whether I was throwing up or feeling awful. It was, she didn't know how to comfort me. And the fact that I've taught my kids how to comfort each other or me when I'm sick, it was very moving. So yeah, if I can just encourage you, if there's anyone that you know needs love, just love them. Um, I hope you made your tea already or your breakfast and having a lovely breakfast with our chat. And um, maybe I'll end today's message with a, with a prayer. But yeah, before I end, I just want to say, um, sorry I haven't posted in a couple of days. That video that I sh posted this morning, you'll notice my clothes are different, um, was on Monday. Monday. Um, and I didn't have internet on Monday. There was some problem with the internet service provider in this area, uh, with my cell phone as well. So I couldn't upload anything. Um, and uh, and then I had my kids, and I wasn't feeling well on Monday. So Monday night I was feeling rough, and yesterday I was just recouping. And I had my daughter, on top of feeling sick, my daughter got some eye infection that I had to deal with. Um, so I was just feeling a bit overwhelmed yesterday, and just questioning, you know, if I should continue this uh, channel, because I just feel so like unworthy to be encouraging people, but. I, I guess I've got some love to give and um, and some companionship to share. And if there's anyone that needs needs a friend, you know, even though I I feel like so empty in a way, like what what have I got to give? I've got love, I guess. And uh, if you want to write to me and introduce yourself, or um, you just uh, need me to pray for you maybe phone you, you're welcome to email me and give me your phone number, I can um, give you a ring or you just want to send me an email, uh, please do. My email is Jonathan Orlop, as in J-O-N-A-T-H-A-N, Orlop, O-R-L-O-P, at gmail.com, Jonathan Orlop at gmail.com. Uh, my cell number is 082-330-5344 if you want to phone me. If you're outside South Africa, you can WhatsApp me. The international dialing code is plus two, s uh, it's double zero, I think it's double zero, two seven, um, and then 082-330-5344. Um, if you want to write to me, um, yeah, let's see where this goes. Um, said if I can even encourage one person to keep going and uh, if one person just comes to know the Lord through me this whole thing is worth it um, even if it's years later please feel free to write to me if you find this I um, yeah <laughs> okay I think that's all for today um, please take care of yourself make some tea make some food for yourself I don't know whether I'll post another video today. I've got quite a lot on my plate. Um, also, if you can also pray for me, uh, my landlord uh, wants me to move. I hoped my business would uh, improve, and it hasn't. And I'm late with rental for, I don't know, the last four months I've been paying late and just really struggling. And uh, yesterday he let me know that uh, I've got two months' notice. So I. I am going to be looking for a new place. I was looking for a place, and then um, and then um, he said to me, "No, I can stay." And now, obviously, he changed his mind. Um, so it's fine, I guess. I'm just terrified because I've just got so much in the air at the moment, um, business-wise. You know, when times are easy, it's easy to navigate things, but when you're financially also on the ropes, just it's it's tough. 
uh, and if you're going through a similar time, it gets tough. If you know someone going through a time like that, see what you can do to help them. Um, so yeah, I know a place that's quite far away where they're um, uh, in an area called Lanceria. There's a, it's beautiful. There's like a, f a horse farm thing across where this house is, and you see horses running around all day long. It's really pretty. It's quite close to the airport, so you get these planes flying over you to land. But it, it's a very quiet airport. Um, I was worried that it would be very noisy, but when I went there, it's, it really wasn't. My only concern is that that's, mm, I don't know, like 45 minute drive further out for me to be taking my kids to school in the morning. That was really nice. And then I found some places closer to my kids' nursery school, but the properties are, are tiny and I'm not. I'm not someone that by choice would want to live in a townhouse or something like that because I want my kids to have a garden um, where they can play outside. I don't want my kids to be stuck inside watching TV. Um, anyway, so if you can pray for me in that regard um, and just intercede for me and like I said, feel free to write to me if you need me to intercede for you. Uh, God hears us. He loves us. He's for us. He's shown that in Jesus. He's not against us. He wants have a relationship with every one of us and uh, yeah if I may just end the video with that and saying that if you haven't accepted Jesus as your savior from your sins we're all sinners and those who've been forgiven for more sins will love him more and if you are in a place where you just feel like you want to accept and now it's time or you want to come back to him like I shared in my video this morning from Monday his mercies are are incredible like he, he, there's a lovely scripture which I haven't shared yet he says my love for those who fear me my love for them is greater than the height of the universe and um, all of us are frail we are all fallible and um, the sooner you can come to him and just say Lord I am broken I'm a sinner I need you I accept you as my savior please reveal yourself to me he will Get yourself a Bible, read it. Like a kid sitting in the back seat of a car, you won't understand everything initially that your that your parents on the front are talking about, but in time you learn to understand what they're spelling out or speaking with each other. God's word is the same way. God will reveal what he wants you to understand at a particular time, but the foundation of salvation and that you're that you're intensely loved by him is the most important thing. It's the foundation. God is for you. He came he endured being spat on, whipped, tortured for our sins. He could have called his angels to um, take him away, but he didn't. He went to the cross, was crucified. He rose again on the third day, conquering sin, conquering death, conquering the devil, conquering anything that you think couldn't be conquered. He conquered all these powers and principalities. And just confess with your mouth that he is your savior and that you believe in him. And if you are a believer, just keep being humble with him walk justly, do, what's it, the scripture says, love mercy, do justly, walk humbly, do justly, love mercy, and um, walk humbly with your God, because he loves you, and we are saved, all of us, by mercy and grace, um, mercy and grace, otherwise any of us could boast, once he's inside of us, uh, our fruit changes, um, and if you have him already in your heart, uh, just keep walking with him so the devil has no grounds of accusation against you or to do any further developments because you were humble enough to admit your shortcomings. Don't hide. Don't hide. That's the worst thing you can do. Just come to him and say, I'm sorry. All right, guys. Have a good day. God bless. Love you. And if you like this content, encourage me either with an email or a like or subscribe or share. Um, I want to try and earn a living from this channel if I can. I don't know if it's possible. If I don't, it's fine. If I'm just an encouragement, that's fine. Cause that's why I started it. But um, yeah, thank you for um, joining me for a tea. Um, and yeah, take care of yourself. Eat breakfast, lunchtime, eat lunch. Pick yourself up, it's going to be okay, and show love to each other. Okay, bye guys.